Hi Year 6, happy Friday. Um, I've got a little visitor helping me out today. Jay's at work for the day, so it's just the two of us. So, Ted's here to help. Uh, this is already the second time that we're filming. The first one, somebody pushed the camera over. So, we'll give it a second shot. And we're going to be better now, aren't we? We're going to do a better job. Um, we are going to have a bit of fun with some of the stories that Ted likes to have. So the first one we're going to go for is called The Three Little Super Pigs because it relates back to the work that we did, which feels like forever ago, when we did our trial of The Big Bad Wolf. So here goes. Fingers crossed. Um, camera stays upright this time. But apologies for having a three-year-old helping out. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs who captured The Big Bad Wolf when he was trying to eat them. He fell bottom first down their chimney into a big pan of boiling water. I'll get you one day, little pigs, shouted the angry wolf as he was carted off to prison. As a thank you for defeating the nasty villain, the pigs were awarded superhero super pig status by the grateful citizens of Fairyland and they helped to rebuild the whole town out of bricks to keep everybody safe. We love you, super pigs! From that moment on, the super pigs wet, spent all their days fighting crime and stopping nursery round bad guys. But mostly, there was one hard-working clever pig who did all the work, whilst his brothers just revelled in their newfound fame. On the other side of town, in his dark, dreary cell, the very angry big bad wolf was hungrily plotting his revenge. <coughs> A few weeks later, the super pigs were called to investigate a new crime. Mysteriously, one by one, pigs was, uh, bricks were starting to disappear all around Fairyland, and the pigs were very puzzled. Then they received some shocking news. The big bad wolf had escaped. <gasps> the residents of Fairyland were terrified, and once again turned to the super pigs for help. Don't worry, said the pigs. We'll find that wolf and make him pay. They hunted high and low and far and wide, but the big bad wolf was nowhere to be seen. The pigs searched everywhere for clues. Hold on a minute. Ted, stop. Come and sit here or leave the room, please. Some people claimed they'd seen the wolf dressed up as an old lady. So the pigs rounded up all the grandmas in Fairyland, but the wolf was a master of disguise and they just couldn't spot him. Hmm, I wonder if you can spot him. As night fell, the townspeople locked themselves indoors, too frightened to go out. Everyone hoped the pigs would find the wolf soon. Inside his own home, the first super pig was relaxing, when a dark shadow suddenly fell upon the room. The big bad wolf, cried the first little pig. In a panic, he ran all around the house and out through the front door. But he was met with a terrible surprise. Did you miss it? The cunning wolf had built a gigantic wall around the pig's houses, using the stolen bricks from Fairyland. They were surrounded. Sit down. We don't want to see your belly. 